your strong master. And Lulu. Our man Rolling Stones with a new album out. Honestly, um, freaking believable that man. They've been in this business now for like sixty freaking years. That's Thinking older than rock. us combined. Mm -hmm. I want to go back and check one of their earliest performances. I found this boom from Ed Sullivan, nineteen sixty six. Someone res it up to like sixty frames a second. Man, we have not seen them this young before. Although that being said, Mick Jagger. Well, no, he does look old now. He definitely he looks like his age now. He looked like he's living mummy. But something about him just makes like it's like eternal. <laughs> eternal 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 like i feel like one day we're gonna be selling his 400th birthday you know what i'm saying like the guy is just gonna live on eternally he's figured That's out because the faint he's of eating well clean as if you know exercised. what mick jagger's diet is <laughs> we grass well, you can tell grass. though <laughs> look at his body no fat baby you know what Muscle. you know you know who has, has bodies like that every other rocker that was a junkie and an alcoholic they're all skinny and limber like that it's it's just the look that's why it was so unusual for someone like meatloaf to come along and be big and chunky and still a rocker how many big and chunky <laughs> rockers do you know <laughs> all right man let's check this out this is when they were uh even thinner back in the day by the way if you want to hear some wicked wild stories about vegas you gotta check out my channel and if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. I'm an OnlyFans. Ooh, satisfaction guaranteed. Now here for all of the youngsters of the country in Canada are the Rolling Stones. I have no idea if this is richly colored or not, if they just added afterwards. It's the same. Still got the weird dance going on. Holy moly. I guess the lady letting really young people into the Ed Sullivan Or show. she just looks so young. I think she just looked young, baby. Wow. Yeah. But, you know, these rockers back then, the fans were all like screaming teens. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, even I'll be one of them. Too. He's still just this chair. Huh? like a brother to Mark Hamill, the guy who played Luke Skywalker, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He kind of like, he's a good looking yes. dude back in the day. I can see why the ladies are screaming. Mm -hmm. and beyond that, the music is good too. And the music, yeah. yeah. That's horrible. They were young. <laughs> They do look young, like high school young. <laughs> He's like, I got a plane to catch. He's like, I don't, I don't, I gotta go. 
Uh, you didn't stick around for an interview or nothing? <laughs> looking young, looking handsome. They must have all skipped school to be there. They played some hooky. I didn't think that's... What, you mean the audience. whole class skipped the class? <laughs> the, the audience did look the young, though. The whole class skipped the class. Wow, wow. Felt like I was really there. I man. know. Wow, this song is so iconic, too. Think about it, man. 60 years, it still holds up to this day. Again, no. This is great. Why? Keith Richards reportedly wrote this song, right? He says he was having a dream, thought of it, woke up, wrote it down, recorded it, fell back to sleep. And when he woke up the next morning, he's like, where did this riff come from? Man, this is good. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, do you remember? He it's like it. you. <laughs> you woke up and I'm like, maybe was that a dream? Or... That's true. I sometimes have that where I wake up and I'm like, was that real or not real? I don't remember. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I do. Like, I can coax myself into, like, problem solving when I'm sleeping. Like, I'll sometimes get through a scenario where, like, I'm stuck in a problem or with a coding problem or some other real world thing. I go to bed. I'm like, all right, I'm going to think about it. And I can feel myself, like, solve it re repetitiously. It's almost like a looping Groundhog Day kind of thing. Wow. By the time I get up, I'm like, you know, I think I've found a path for my best ideas or things, like, from when I'm sleeping. Wow. Mm. I could never. <laughs> I know, baby. The only thing I you do, you see me like <laughs> sweat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Some people have different purposes for sleeping. You're recharging your batteries. I'm solving the world's problems. Wow, that's impressive. It's even more impressive to write a number one hit song and go like, "Hey, that's pretty good, Mick. Did you write Who this? Who wrote this? Wow, this person's good." <laughs> 